How's it going guys? I'm Matt Torx and to celebrate the launch of Mortal Kombat 1, I'm going to be doing a tutorial video on how to play Johnny Cage. Now Johnny is a fast brawler who prides himself upon his strong normals and reliable special moves to achieve crazy combo damage. Alright, so to start things off, I'm going to be putting up a picture on screen that shows some of the general terms we'll be going over in this video. That way I can reach both PlayStation and Xbox players with no confusion. Alright, so the first thing you need to go over with any character is combo strings, and boy does Johnny have a lot of them. So we're going to go over one by one all of his combo strings. Alright, so the first string we're going to be talking about is 1, 2, 4. This is one of Johnny's best strings because it has a quick startup and a built-in launcher with the third hit of it. And if you press 3 rather than 4 on that last hit, you'll have a built-in 50-50. The next string on the list is another launcher, 2-1-2. Two, two. This string is nice because it launches higher than the other and allows you to perform air combos. It's also decently fast, starting as a high and ending in an overhead. And like our first string, you can change it, so instead you can do 2-1-4-4 two, four, four and get a built-in low for a 50-50. This is also good for playing online because opponents will either duck the first hit or not duck the first hit, and there's a good chance they'll get hit. What's nice about these two strings is they can be both done in the same combo. So if we do forward 1, 2, 4, we can immediately hit 2, 1, 2 after to keep our opponent launched. The next one is forward 3, 2. This is one of Johnny's faster strings coming out with that quick knee. It's really nice for keeping block pressure, and if you wish, you can put in the third hit for a bit more pushback with the risk of it being unsafe on block. Forward 3-4 is in the same vein, and it's a very interesting overhead kick that puts your opponent in this weird capture state. Now what is nice is right after it you can do backwards 3 and get an actual launcher out of it. Back 3 is an upwards kick that launches your opponent into the air, and it's one of the slower of Johnny's launchers, but it can be done in the middle of a combo to keep your opponent launched. And finally, for the last and slowest of Johnny's launchers, we have Forward 4. Now, Forward 4 being as slow as it is is going to be a lot harder to hit in the match, but it's a nice tool in Johnny Cage's kit that you can still use in certain situations. 3-3 three, three is a simple two-head kick that ends in an overhead and allows Johnny to get a bit more space on block. The next string, 1-1-2, one, one, is a very basic punch string, ending in a mid-punch that allows him to create some more space on hit, and stay safe on block. You also have the option to go 1-1-4, which at the risk of dealing more damage, also leaves him unsafe on block. Now moving on to our air strings, in which Johnny Cage has two. The first is 1-2-4, nice kick, sort of similar to his on-ground forward 1-2 kick. And the second one is 2-4-4. This creates a bit more space, as well as being less combo potential. And now moving on to our special moves, we have Nut Punch, which is as back and as good as ever. It's pretty much just used as your basic combo ender and can be used as a special move cancel. It can also be amplified to keep your opponent standing for added pressure. In addition, if you do the input, then press L2, you'll be able to build height meter and duck under projectiles. Height meter being something that we will talk about later. Back forward 4 is another iconic move, the Shadow Kick. This is another fast combo ender that can also be extended for height by pressing L2. It can also be amplified, which will affect the speed it comes out at, coming out much quicker than regularly. Now this move is perfect to catch people off guard if they're starting to try and zone, play the neutral, and they're not blocking as much as they should be. Down back 3 is Rising Star, another combo ender that could be used as a combo extender if it gets amplified. It's really good for in-air combos and being able to hit the opponent without carrying them too far forward. Amplifying it allows you to get another kick in mid-air in order to keep your combos going. Now with his returning specials out of the way, we have some new ones. Down forward 3 is a Shadow Dash that allows him to go through projectiles as well as close in distance quickly. One of my favorite ways I like to do this is by special canceling into it and then actually starting my combo, because this makes it harder for the opponent to react if you're behind them. Down back one is a parry that allows him, similar to his shadow dash, to phase through the opponent. And this helps build pressure similar to your shadow dash, because once again you're going behind your opponent. The most unique part about Johnny Cage in this game is his ability of height meter. 
Now, by doing various things throughout the match of showboating, you'll be able to build your height meter, represented by that star in the bottom left. By pressing forward, down, back, four, Johnny enters a star power mode, which allows him to special cancel moves into one another, resulting in even more combo potential. Some of the best examples of this are a triple shadow kick, a double nut punch into shadow dash, and if you're in the corner where you don't have to worry about pushback, a triple nut punch. Now how you build your height meter is by showing off on certain special moves like your nut punch or shadow kick. Or you can also put in the star power input when it's not active to build some height meter. And you can also press down rapidly four times to trigger a taunt. And if that taunt animation plays out, you also get height meter. Now finally, we're going to get into some cameo recommendations for Johnny Cage. Now first off is Serena. If For those of you who don't know, she's the best cameo in the game. Simply because of this drain move right here that literally takes your opponent's meter. But also her back R1 is a great thing to be used in combos and can even be used twice in the same combo. And as you can see, 22% for just that alone. Now if you don't want to use Serena, don't worry, there are some other great cameo choices for Johnny Cage, and one of them is Sonya Blade. Simply because of this punch right here. If you want to mess around with air combos and you do a string in midair, you can use this right here to continue your string on the ground. She also, similar to Serena, has a move that you can special cancel to start off your combos. And finally, if you're looking for some combo extenders similar to Serena and Sonya, Kano and Sector are both great at that. Kano has his knife toss, which acts similar to Serena's blade toss, but independent from the player, and Sector has his flamethrower. Alright, and to finish off this video, I'm going to show you a bunch of combos you could do with Johnny Cage, from beginner to expert. Feel free to slow down the video if you want to look at any individual combo. Thank mm -hmm. you. 